Welcome to Ground Control. I recently had someone ask me, how do you charge a one cell LiPo on one of these hobby grade chargers, specifically the Sky RC D100 charger that I did a re review of not too long ago? That's a good question. How do you charge a one cell LiPo on one of these hobby grade chargers that most people use for multi cell LiPos? Well, I will show you how I charge my one cell LiPos on it and sometimes it can be a convoluted process when it comes to the different types of connectors on a one cell LiPo because one cell LiPos are probably the worst when it comes to non-standardization of the discharge plugs on those batteries. I mean I've got lossies, I've got JSTs, I've got these little, I think they're PH2 connectors and then they have micro versions of this as well I mean there's got to be half a dozen different types of connectors on these one cell lipos and so that makes it a real pain but you can buy these little um, octopus style charging cables like this one has a lossy connector on one end as well as a JST and then it has a series of lossy connectors on the end of it to connect your battery to and then you can also, for like this battery, to be able to go from this little, I think it's a PH2 connector to a lossy connector, I've got this little adapter here that you can also purchase online. And so, and then on the charger, of course, you've got to have something to plug into the charger. And most of the hobby grade chargers use four millimeter banana plugs for the, the ground and the power cable. And so I have one that has a JST receptacle on it. So. So my process for this battery is basically to take this little squid connector here, which has a JST connector on one end, connecting that to my JST connector that I've got with the banana uh, plugs on the end of it that will plug into my charger. And then from one of the lossy connectors down here, I take my little adapter that has the little PH2 plug on it. Now, if you have, if you have a one cell LiPo that has a a JST connector on it then you won't need this cable if you have a, a one cell lipo that has a lossy plug on it then you won't need this adapter but unfortunately now I've got to plug this into the lossy connector and then from there I've got to plug it into the uh, plug the battery into that so I've got a string here of three separate cables with three different connectors on it just to be able to charge up my one cell lipo on my hobby grade charger so let me bring the the charger into view let me go ahead i've already got powered on let me go ahead and hook up my banana plugs and this one cell battery that i've got here is for my little ishini 011 tiny whoop and it's a one cell uh 3.7 volt 260 milliamp 30c battery which which powers this little guy right here so and i I have, uh, I have used those little USB charging cables that come with like a five pack of batteries and I have had them ruin a whole five pack of batteries because it was actually sending 5.1 volts into the battery that, rather than 4.2 and so it was way overcharging the batteries, all the batteries puffed and, and then they were no good so that cost me about 15 bucks worth of batteries. So I quit using those and I started charging all these one cell lipos on my hobby grade charger. Other than having, other than the fact that it doesn't have a balance plug, and let me bring it in here so you can see the menu on the charger and what we will do, I've got this battery plugged into port A right now. So let me get this up here and get this straightened out, get it set to where you can see the buttons in the screen. And let me go ahead and focus this in again. Yeah, I think you'll I think you'll be able to read it there. I've got a little bit of reflection from the light. Let me see if I can turn off the light. Okay, yeah, I think that helps. I think you'll be able to read it easier there. So let's start from scratch. Let's say we're we're not in any program yet. Okay, so we're gonna scroll through using our our uh, decrease and increase buttons until we get to our lipo battery program, and then I'm gonna press enter. And right now I have it set up for a balance program, 0.8 amps and a 3 cell 11.1 volts. So what I want to do now is hit my increase button again. And what I want is I just want charge. Since we're dealing with a single cell LiPo, 
we're just going to be using the charge function of the of this uh, hobby grade charger so I'm going to press enter and now it's going to allow me to either increase or decrease the amount of amperage that I'm going to use to charge this battery with. Now, since this bat, I, I hardly ever charge my batteries at a rate higher than 1.5 C. So, since this battery is 260 milliamp battery, a 1 C charge would be 2.6 amps. Well, I can't, I can't select. Um, excuse me, 0.26 amps. So I can't select 0.26 amps on here. I've either got to select 0.2 or 0.3. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease that to 0.2, which is a little bit less than 1C, or you could select 0.3, which is a little bit higher than 1C rating. But I'm just going to select that, and then I'm now I'm over here where I can select the number of cells in the LiPo pack. So I'm going to press decrease. And that went down to two cell one more time, and that goes down to one cell. So now I have the charger set up. It's just on a charge, not on a balance, just on charge. I've got the charge rate set at 0.2 amps, and I have it set for 3.7 volt, one cell. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start again to confirm that, to confirm all my settings. And then I'm going to hold down the start again. It'll do a battery check. It'll confirm, and then... Confirm, to confirm that you want to charge at this rate, press start again. Okay, so, oh, let me hold it. I waited too long. Okay, there we go. So right now, you can see this, this battery is almost full charge, so it's not going to take very long. But this will, show, this will show you the amount of time that it's on charge. It'll show you how many amps is put into the battery, what the current battery voltage is. And over here, where you see all these zeros, that shows how many milliamp hours it's actually put into the battery. So we just now have reached one. So I think I just topped these batteries off about two or three days ago. So it's pretty close to a full charge. So this will not take very long at all. But I want you to hear the tone that the charger is going to make once this battery is, is at a full charge cycle. And the nice thing about this charger is that it has two completely separate charging circuits so that I can charge two batteries at the same time which is great you know you can get you get all your batteries charged up in half the time and I will in the show notes I will also put a link to this charger I will put a link to this battery I will put a link to some of the um, charging cables that will work in almost all of the hobby grade chargers I've ever seen so there we go so now it shows that it that it is finished. It's at 4.2 volts. It took one minute and, and 13 seconds and it put three milliamp hours into the battery. So now we just press stop and then we can disconnect our battery and unplug our charger. But um, I will go ahead and put links to all these things in the show notes. I will find a charging cable that has a, a JST or a lossy connector on the end of it and then I will also put a link to one of these squid cables and if you happen to have this type of battery like I have that has yet a different connector on it I will see if I can find a link to one of these connectors as well so I hope this short tutorial helps you on how you can use one of these hobby grade chargers to charge a one cell lipo and um, I'm sure that most of these, my old charger work the same way, so I'm sure that the vast majority of these hobby grade chargers function in the same manner, and I'm sure the menu system is very similar. So even if you don't have this charger, I'm sure you won't have any problem figuring that out. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you in the air.